So when you log into GitHub Core Spaces, you'll see there are various templates available. For our use case, we'll just use a blank template to set up a empty GitHub Core Space. Now we'll use pip install nextpy command to install nextpy. At the same time, we'll create a blank folder where we'll place our app related code. Let's just name it my app. Now we'll navigate to my app folder. Inside the folder, we'll initiate a blank nextpy template. We can do that by typing nextpy in it. Now it will give us two options. One is the option of starting with a base template or starting with a blank template. So blank template is just a simple one page template that has a just few text AMS. Uh, it can serve as a starting point for your landing page or anything one page applications that you want to build. The base template is a multi page template that has a sidebar, navigation, etc. So, for now, let's choose blank template. For that, we just need to enter. Okay. It will install the required dependencies like Node.js or Bun. Now, we can see inside our My App, it has already created a scaffolding. I can see the code. This is the code for the black template. It has set up everything. Now let's see how this application looks like. It takes a while to compile as this converts the Python code into Next.js code. And it also installs all the required dependencies automatically. You don't need to manually specify any dependency. It automatically will scan and install the required dependencies. Another thing that we need to do is make the backend code public. For that, navigate to the post tab, right click, select port visibility, make it public. Now we can click on the follow link. It takes a while. Uh, here you can see the web page. Now let's change some text. Yeah, we'll go and change that text from high performance to super fast. It will automatically compile whenever a change is detected. Now we can see it's reloading your application. You can see the change. Super fast. 